impeachment? That's right. Have you ever heard of anything like that? Can they do that? If they get the votes. I told you we shouldn't have let him give us the car. Didn't you tell them I got the bill of sale? That proves I paid for it. It doesn't make a difference. They think we're in cahoots. <laughs> you know, you could put a fence around these condos and call it an insane asylum. Nobody would know the difference. No one's ever been impeached before. I couldn't live here. We'd have to move to Boca. Hello? Oh, hi, Evelyn. Hello, Jerry. I just got off the phone with Saul Brandis. What did he say? He's voting to impeach. <laughs> Not because he thinks you stole the money, but mainly because you never thanked him for giving you his aisle seat at Freddie Roman's show. <laughs> So thank him. No, he never heard you. I told you he didn't hear you. Ah, he's deaf anyway. Now, my sources tell me there's three votes for impeachment, three votes against impeachment, and one undecided. Who's that? Mrs. Choate. Who's she? Oh, that one? She's been a member of the board longer than anybody. She's very tough to deal with. Maybe we should have her over for coffee and explain our side of it. That's a good idea. Okay. I'll see you at the Lichtenbergs tonight. The Lichtenbergs? Yes, they're having a party. We weren't invited. Well, probably they think you're too good for them. You know, because of the car. We're losing all our friends. 